On January 16, 2014, 36-year-old Nick Polino died a day after he was in a car crash on I-275. Nick's death, while tra tragic, saved lives because he was an organ donor. Well, today, Nick's family got to meet one of the people he helped save. Local 12's Brad Underwood was there and brings us a story. In Cold Spring, Kentucky, the people in this room are mostly strangers. What they have in common is something that's uncommon to share openly with others. Nick Polino's heart is inside Brian Klein's body. I was in really bad shape, you know, I wouldn't last it much longer if I wouldn't have got it. Shortly after Polino passed away, Klein got the call he'd been waiting for for six months. I was scared. I probably said like two or three words all the way up hour and a half drive to the cities from where I live. Debbie Polino, Nick's mother, invited Klein and his family to northern Kentucky so that her family and friends could meet the man who's alive thanks to Nick's heart. But it isn't the first time Debbie has seen Brian. She drove up to Minnesota in September to meet him more than two years after the transplant. You can imagine it was very emotional, but it was an instant connection with the entire family. And that connection is shared with everyone in the room. Strangers no more because Klein's first trip to northern Kentucky is a return trip home for Nick's heart. Do you want to listen to it? <laughs> it's emotional however you process this situation. Nick's father, Michael Polino, is also in attendance making a trip from Pittsburgh. I just had to meet this fella that got Nick's heart. I struggled over it a little bit, just hard to do for me, but uh, I needed to come. To know that his heart was taken out of his body and put in someone else's, it's, it's I, I, I don't know, I have no words. It's, um, I'm, I'm so grateful. I feel good. I mean, <laughs> you know, so I'm sure I'm happy I, that I did get one, but it's kind of sad to think somebody had to die to do it. But. Nick's death saved eight lives and improved the lives of 25 others. In Cold Spring, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And locally, there are more than 600 people on the transplant list. Nationally, it's 122,000.